Hi guys, Lulu Bell here from Fine Curly Hair. If you are watching this channel today, please do not forget to like and subscribe to all future videos. Today's video is going to be about Diva Girl. If you are a product junkie like me, I know you have probably heard about Diva Curl somewhere along the journey, whether on YouTube or maybe on Pinterest, and everyone rants and raves and says how excelente it is, and you decided maybe to try it for yourself, and maybe you didn't like the results so much. Well, either way, if you are just channel surfing, or if you wanted to gain a little um, knowledge on the product, I again, I'm grateful that you're here. So, I tried Diva Curl a couple months ago, and I was not completely thrilled with the results. In fact, I, I kind of didn't like the product, and I didn't really understand why everybody thought it was so amazing, and I was like, I can use this, like, other cheaper stuff and get the same results, I just didn't get it. Um, but I finally think that I've cracked the code, <laughs> so let me help you out. Numero uno, if you're gonna be buying Diva Girl products, make sure that you buy this right away. It's the Curly Girl Handbook by Lorraine Massey. Um, comes with a DVD, woo -hoo! And she actually tells you how to wash your hair with the Diva Girl No Poo as well as conditioner because she is the co-owner of Diva Girl. So again, if you're gonna be using her stuff, you might as well hear from the expert get her advice how to apply it, um, when to apply it, other methods you can try, I mean, she's brilliant. So make sure you get this right away. Um, you know, if you're getting that $22 no poo and conditioner, you definitely want the instructions. So I found her method to be supremely helpful. I don't have Diva Curl no poo and conditioner. I'm planning on buying it, um, but I don't have it just yet. Um, I still use the method though, how she tells you how to put it in your hair, and I do realize the difference. My scalp doesn't, um, this sounds awful, but it doesn't smell as bad, um, because I don't wash my hair every day, I do wash it like every four days, so definitely her tips helped. What my number two dose, um, tip is going to be is if you're not going to buy the no poo and conditioner, make sure that you invest in really good um, conditioner and shampoo, sulfate free, silicone free, paraben free stuff. Make sure that you read the labels. Um, basically the shampoo and conditioner is going to be the foundation and you want to make sure that your foundation of your hair is really good stuff so then when you apply the other stuff it's just building on your hair and not tearing it down. So again make sure you get really good stuff. Um, this stuff was about ten dollars at Sally's I don't completely love it, so I'm not going to tell you to go buy it, um, but it does have that minty feel on your scalp, so if you're like loving that burning sensation, then buy this. But um, I'm just experimenting. I do experiment quite quite a bit, I, again, like I said, product junkie to the core, so that's currently what I'm trying, but I am going to buy the no poo and conditioner very soon. Anyways, numero tres. If you're gonna be buying Diva Curl, I know you know how expensive it is. Um, and I know that you're probably like, I'm not sure if I wanna spend that much. Um, but my biggest suggestion is to check Amazon or eBay before going to Ulta or the Diva Curl website. All of the Diva Curl website has a bunch of coupons and sales and all this top notch stuff. Um, that's not my first place that I look. So I was able to buy two of these. This is the Diva Curl Frizz Free uh, Volmanizing Foam. Just one of these babies is normally $26, but I was able to buy two of them for $31 on eBay. So that saved me some dinero. And then the Set It Free is normally $22. And I got this one for $15. And the Super Cream, normally $28, I bought it for $18. So they're not huge, huge, huge savings. But I try to cut corners and save money as much as possible, so definitely go ahead and check those websites first. Numero quattro. If you're going to be using Diva Curl products, make sure that you read the back of the labels. Um, I know that when you get the product, you just want to start messing around and experimenting and going crazy and just trying all these different ways to put it on because it's exciting. But um, the directions are there for a reason. 
I have tried it both ways where I've played around and I've done my own thing. Didn't really like the results. But if you actually read it, what it says to do, um, you'll like the results. Like this one, it says that if you have fine hair, just to put it on the halo of your hair, this is the um, super cream. And that's what I did, and it, I felt like, it felt like it didn't weigh down my hair. So I definitely suggest read, 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 read before even applying it to your hair. Numero, uh, numero cinco. <laughs> if you're going to be using the products, um, layer it. I tried using the Volmanizing Free Foam by itself. Nah. I tried using the Set Free by itself. Nah. But if you apply all three, it's like a cocktail and it gives you slam bam results. So try to layer as many products as possible without weighing your hair down. As you can see, I do have fine, thin, curly hair. I did put all three products in it and it just gave me the most amazing to find ringlets and curls and like I said layering is the best you can do for yourself. Um, I have not tried the gel yet but I have heard that if you try the gel with cream that you get the best results. Your hair is not so crunchy as well as you don't get those white flakes. So again I haven't tried it. I can't say for sure that's true but again layering. Numero six. Instead of doing a Shia Moisture versus Diva Curl, put it together. Marry them together and bake a cake. <laughs> um, right now in my cabello, I have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So I put this in, this baby in first, and then I put the other stuff in my hair. Um, on a normal basis, I do also do the Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. It has African Rock Fig and Bubub Oil. However you say that. Um, but again, best results is if you put them together. Numero seven. If you want the big hair, um, you're really not going to get it by air drying your hair. I have tried air drying my hair a few times with the Diva Core products. And my hair is cute, but it's kind of like... And I kind of like the big hair. Although this isn't that big. Um, yeah, the best way to go about it is you have to use a diffuser on the cold setting. Um, do it when your hair is almost completely dry and then do it for about seven minutes. It really doesn't take that much and then you do get the defined curls as you can see and the almost frizz free um, hair. So that's the way to go. Also numero eight. If you're concerned using all these products is going to weigh down your roots, believe me I know what you're talking about. I have very flat roots and I constantly have to battle and deal with that, especially on second day and third day hair root problem. It's the root of the problem. Anyways, um, use these little precious clippies, apply them to your roots, and she actually talks about it in her curly girl guide. Um, this is going to be page 75. She actually talks about how to put it in your hair and how to apply them. It's the clipping technique. So again, very important if you're using the products to use that as well. Um, number nine. Don't be afraid to try the samples. I know that when I went to the store, I was like, the samples are almost the same price as the big bottles on eBay. So for me personally, it was easier just to buy the big bottles and get it over with. Um, and then be done with it. But I have heard from a few people, um, specifically my sister, who told me that she purchased the baby, um, I think Wave Maker or something, and she didn't love it, so she was able to return it to Ulta and that was it. She didn't have to buy the big one. So don't be afraid to do that. Um, don't be afraid to look at YouTube videos before purchasing. Find out what works for people and what doesn't. Um, I know not every product is amazing <laughs> let's just say that and that kind of deals with all lines it's not just diva curl just in general not everything works for everybody so i would do my research first before purchasing and last but not least number 10 um just have fun guys i mean diva curl is an awesome brand and it's an awesome brand for a reason um i can honestly say that i absolutely love the products now 
Um, it's my favorite go-to. I will be honest and say that sometimes I'm afraid to use it because it is kind of expensive. I'm like, oh, it's so precious. I don't want to put it on my hair all the time. But I'm starting to notice that it is the only thing that really makes my hair supremely happy along with Shea Moisture. So I hope this tips helped you guys. Um, if they didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a, a good day. Thank you. Thank you.